When nursing homes closed their doors to outside visitors, it meant loved ones could no longer see the elderly. But now that people are getting vaccinated, the long-awaited reunions are here. ABC 10 News reporter Leah Pazetti takes us to the moment that's positively San Diego as a couple married more than 70 years finally holds hands again. Oh, there you go. Like he does every day. Oh, oh there you go. There's hey, there's Roberta. There's Hey, hi there. Francis Doran has his morning call with his wife of 72 years. I see you got your angel hat on. That's beautiful. I like that one. This is one of their many calls throughout the day, calls they've done for the past year. <laughs> That'd be a long time since we held hands. Francis sits in the Chula Vista home they've owned for 66 years. Roberta is talking from Sharp's Birch Patrick Skilled Nursing Facility, where she's lived for three years. The first two years she was there. I saw her from 6.30 in the morning to 6 at night seven days a week and when they're every day. But that stopped when the pandemic started. So now this is how they see each other. I like this face to face because it, it makes me feel like I'm close to you. With the distance, time has become more precious as Roberta's memories slowly fade away. The closer I can be with her, the next to her, I think the more memory I can bring her up. Yeah, because she's losing her memory more often because of, I'm not there. Which is why this call is so special. It's their last call before getting to embrace each other for the first time in one year. And one thing I can do tomorrow is I can hold her hand. And I think I, they said I might be able to hug her a little bit. He's been doing his best to talk about her lifelong passions like music. He used to sing to me all the yeah. time. <laughs> but he worries that as their time apart grows, so does the dementia. That hurts quite a bit of her memory, I think. That's why I'm afraid that beginning to... So I'm getting to hoping that once I get to see her more often, I can bring her memory back. So with their final virtual embrace before the reunion. Okay. Here's a big kiss. Okay. Remember, okay. I love you very much, okay? Remember oh, that. Boy. He's hoping that this is the last day of her slipping, and tomorrow brings the start of keeping her here. Just about 24 hours later, and the moment has arrived. There you are. Wasting no time. I to see you. Nice to see you, Roberta. They embrace. <laughs> and it's like they never were apart. With physical distance no longer a concern, they sit and talk. To show that uh, how happy I am to see you again, be able to come and visit you at least for a little while. Not as often as I like to, but it's going to work out okay. Cherishing these precious moments together, marking a new chapter in their long book of marriage. Things aren't that bad. There, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. After a hard year, this time together, these simple embraces <laughs> were worth the wait. There's a very, very good day, yes. Yeah. Leah Pizzetti. Yep, very good day. ABC 10 News. A very good day. We're so happy for them. Today's first visit together lasted about an hour. Francis says he knows it will take time to get back to the accessibility that he had, but he can't wait to be able to spend all day, every day with his wife.